Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. And today, another video from the new space. Absolutely not done. But in today's video, we're going to talk about the announcement of DaVinci Resolve 17. And oh boy, have I been awaiting this announcement for quite a while. Oh yeah. So with the situation in the world with the COVID-19, Delaying all processes, the delayment of DaVinci Resolve 17 has been going on for quite a while, but on Tuesday, we're going to have the first sneak peek on DaVinci Resolve 17 from Blackmagic. And I don't actually know what to expect because um, there's no notes or anything following around what is going to happen, but um, I would predict that we are going to see a major improvement in the things we saw in 16, like the uh, object removal tool, the speed ramp tools and stuff like that. And also, I bet that there are going to be a lot of new improvement and new tools ready to use in DaVinci Resolve. So, as of now, uh, I, I don't know if this is going to be a full release. I do doubt that. I think they're going to do a public beta as they do usually. But uh, you can be very uh, sure that all the features available in the current beta of 16, which is uh, the new color signs and working with Blackmagic RAW 12K files will be included into 17. Also, I would like to see a couple of things. I would like to see a better way to work with text. Preview fonts, for instance, would be very well welcomed <laughs> because that you can't do right now. I also predict there'll be a bunch of new presets in the Fusion tab for uh, templates like with text and titles. I hope there will be a, a great update to that. Also a way to customize that even more would be very well approved. I also think we'll see some changes in how the cut page work. Um, some way to make that a little, a little more like the edit page would also be welcome in my opinion. Um, because I actually tend just to go straight to the edit page instead of the cut page because it's for me that is absolutely faster. So a way to make the workflow on the cut page easier for people using the edit page would be nice. Also think that uh, we are going, of course, going to get the color signs, uh, the Gen 5, which I am looking forward to playing around with. We might also see some great improvements into Fusion, the way it runs. Um, hopefully that will be there as well. Other than that, I am just super excited about that. And also again with the like Magic uh, and Resolve. For me, it's hard to figure out if they'll add more tabs. I actually doubt they will. Maybe they'll add some kind of a um, graphics tab if you're using graphics for your videos, so you don't have to go into Fusion and you can do some simple stuff with that. I don't think they're going to do that. So I did predict, of course, way back that they would uh, incorporate uh, Fairlight. And I also <laughs> said that it would be nice if Fusion uh, some time in the future would be included in the bundle. And it is like that now. So, so maybe that, and also maybe Blackmagic would do some kind of an app for your tablet or your Android device or whatever. So you can kind of edit on the go and then it would sync up with DaVinci Resolve 17 eventually when you bring it back home. Again, that is just a wishful thinking, um, something that could be in the new update. So again, on Tuesday the 9th of November or in, in, in Europe and in America you will be able to see the live stream from Blackmagic. If you're living in Sydney or Tokyo, it will be on the 10th and um, the time frames for that will be down, with, down here somewhere. So you can have a look at that next week. 
hopefully it will be an amazing experience and um, hopefully we'll be ready to download DaVinci Resolve 17 right away, trying it out and having a blast doing so. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.